Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a, a series of videos. Um, I got asked a couple questions um, from Jason Reynolds on YouTube channel. He would like to see some uh, mechanical mods um, with some sub oim builds. So this is going to be part one. Um, and you know part two and three I'm not sure how long it's gonna be but I'm gonna do some builds so stick around and I'll see you there thanks for watching all right so I have a couple mechanical mods here I have my stingray my 26 650 stingray and my 18 650 stingray um, before I get to the coil, because this one needs to be cleaned, um, I will give you guys some close-ups. So this is the 26650. Um, it's not a major expensive. I, I paid, I think, like 30 bucks for this mechanical. And this 18650, I think I paid like $15 for it. So it's not an, an expensive item. Let's see if I can shine a little light. Just got a flashlight in the background. Okay. So this is stainless steel on the outside, copper interior. Um, here's your adjuster sleeve. So you can make the, the trigger button uh, further away from the battery or closer to the battery depending on how hard you want the hit. Here is the top piece. This one actually has a rubber seal right here. Or it might be a plastic seal. Um, this is also the piece that your RDA goes into or your tank. You have a small adjustment screw and a large adjustment screw. This one has threading on it, so you thread these two together, which actually lengthens and shortens depending on how far you make both of these go in um, to the trigger button, um, which is this one right here. Um, and you thread this into the bottom so let me show you this this is a this is a very powerful maggot it's got a little um, flathead screw on the bottom you basically because it flops you can see it just flops um, so you basically put these two opposite magnets together and it forces it to stay spring loaded. It's very simple, not um, extremely difficult. It's a, a very, very good style of mechanism. So let's get this one. This screw piece right here, these two screws go into the top piece like so. and it lengthens and shortens the hot side of the battery. Your negative side of the battery goes down towards the trigger. So you would put this on top, thread that in, lock that down. You would put your adjuster ring sleeve on like so. And then you would put your battery in positive going towards the top you would thread this in and then you would adjust where this needs to be based off where your mod is and you're gonna have to adjust the top two screws to get it perfectly right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the battery out um, and we're going to uh, clean an RDA real quick. Uh, I'm probably gonna just put you guys on, you know, pause and I'll come back. So I fully sealed it again. 
So I'll be back in a few minutes. Won't be any time for you guys, but I'll be back in a few minutes. All right. So just quick little tip here before I take this apart, because this co this set of coils was already in here. I did this a while back. This set of coils is actually at 0 0.16 ohms, and it's pulling 1.61 volts at 85 watts. 212 Fahrenheit, 4.962. The batteries are fluctuating quite a bit. So I'll be back, I'll go clean this and we'll start um, building. Hey everybody. So please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon, um, and if you want to see future updates, go check out my Amazon affiliate links, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.